Now we have Patera in playing position and she's just learned how to play all five rhythms on only the A string. I usually have students start by playing the rhythms only on the A string first. However, some students who are very, very young can't keep the bow on the A string. So in that case, I'll do the E string. But for students who can handle balancing the bow on only the A, I'll do just the A string to start out. Okay, so as you're doing this, you will notice that some things will slip. It's important that you always stop and correct because you want the student to develop proper form and good habits. So don't be in a rush to get to the end. Just make sure the process plays out by itself and that the students learn things correctly. Now, can you fix your feet? Okay. Yes, yeah, so make corrections as you go along and eventually these things will stick and they'll do it on their own. So you want the shoulder, violin up on the shoulder, fix your bow hold, okay. curve the finger. Bow hold is one of the most important things you want to always make sure it stays as perfect as possible. Chin, not cheek. Keep this out. Okay. Hold your arm the way you had it before you dropped it. Don't get lazy. Okay. There. Okay, the first one we're going to, what happened here? Thumb under. First rhythm we're going to do is Mississippi Hot Dog on the A. I put two tapes on the bow, one on both sides, one close to the frog, one close to the tip, kind of in the middle, and then one tape right in the middle. And I have her start at the middle tape. Fix your arm. Hold your arm up. That arm. There. Okay. Ready? So when they do this, you want to try to teach them to move from the elbow. Don't make a sound. Move from the elbow. A lot of students do this movement, which is not right. And Katera is already doing the seesaw movement. So it's something that you have to work on. Okay. Hold your arm. Mississippi hot dog. See how your arm moves? Look at your arm. Mississippi hot dog. Good. Now, keep your arm like you had it. Don't drop. You got to be strong and tough. Don't fidget. Relax. Ready? Go. That was very good, Katera. Don't drop. Don't drop. Keep your arm back up. Uh, we took a tiny little break, and when we came back, Katera said, can I just do them by myself? The answer is no. In the beginning, you need to be there making sure that there's corrections. They, they will, and they may be tempting because you think, oh, my child wants to play. But no, you want to make sure that they're playing correctly. So once you help them form the proper habits, then they can play on their own. Like for now, it, just now you see that she dropped her position. If I let her play by herself, that's how she'll look. Can you fix your bow hole? The thumb is not bumpy. Thumb bumpy. Okay, so hopefully we're going to help you create good habits so you can practice all by yourself. That would be great, wouldn't it? Don't drop. I told you that. Don't drop. Okay, we're going to do Mississippi Hot Dog. Ready? Go. No. Nope. Always start down. Okay. Very good. Now your violin's starting to droop a little bit. Stay tall. Stand tall. Nice. Mississippi Hot Dog for tall violin. Ready? Go. Oh, down. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Grasshopper, grasshopper. Okay. Wait. Bend this finger. Bend. Stand tall. On the shoulder. Turn the head. Grass. Fix your feet. Point, point the toes that way first. Then unzip. Unzip. Step out. To the side. You dropped your arm. Oh. Stand tall. Grasshopper, grasshopper. Okay. Good, but you want to take your time on the hoppers. Grasshopper, grasshopper. Okay. Put your chin on the chin rest, please. Ready? Go. Grasshopper, grasshopper. Okay, you're going a little too fast on the grasshoppers. We're going to work on that. Okay. But let's move on for now. Fix your arm, please. Chalk, not, not like that. Regular, just have it. Relax. Chalk on it, chalk on it. Okay? Can you hold that? Yes. Ready? Go. Chalk on it, chalk on it. Good. Bend 
the finger. We're trying to go slow. Nice. Thank you for trying to go slow. One potato, two potato. Okay, stand tall. Ready? Go. Nice. Now we're at the tricky one, but I think you can do it now. Popcorn, mmm, and ice cream, mmm, and. Now freeze for one second so I can explain this. Remember when we cropped it? We did popcorn, mmm, and ice cream, mmm, and. On the mmms, you don't play. So when you do the bow, you have to stop it on the mmm. So it's going to look like popcorn, mmm, and ice cream, mmm, and. Now usually when they first start, I have to physically stop the bow on my own. When they do the, the, the mmms. Ready? I'm going to try it. Stand tall. Stand tall. Unzip. Take a step. Thank you. Ready? Go. Pop up. Always go down. Okay. Popcorn. Mmm. And ice cream. Mmm. And. Good. Now you ready to do it without me stopping the bow yeah. for you? Okay. Stand tall. Always start down. Okay. Ready? Wait. I'll say go. Can you make these fingers tall? Thank you. Curve this thick finger here. Ready? Go. Popcorn. Mmm. And ice cream. Mmm. And. Yay! You did it! Good job, Patera. Now go to rest position. You're done. Nope. Rest position. Feet together. Good. You turned your bow around by yourself. Point out and take a bow. Bye. So the next thing you would do, she just learned to play these rhythms on the string for the first time today. But never so to now, her job will be to play all the rhythms I usually make them do for the number of their age, and she's eight. So she will be doing each rhythm eight times every day until she can play them by herself with, uh, with no assistance. Um, so starting this evening, she's going to practice again playing those rhythms eight times Only you go. until she gets really good at that and next thing we'll do is do the rhythms on two strings instead of one. 